Hey everyone, Odd here. Uh, got some breaking news I want to share with you all. Um, I want to talk about a possible civil war that might be coming in the United States on top of the possibility of World War III at the same time and the threat that this now imposes on us, the American people, and also those in the West. Actually, the whole world, really. But... This long drawn out plan by the CCP, okay, the Chinese Communist Party, and the FSB, okay, which is Russia's Federal Security Service, it's their new KGB, it's kind of like our CIA. This plan of divisionary psychological operations, okay, this upheaval of unrest that has been being perpetuated to us through bought-out media controlled by people like the CCP and other means, okay? And here on Sky News, they say U.S. faces riots and civil unrest if Donald Trump is jailed, warns U.S. pollster. More videos are talking about a second civil war. Now, what is the dangers of this, folks? Let's think about this for a minute. On July 15th, all right, when Donald Trump is, or July 11th, I'm sorry, when Donald Trump is uh, sentenced, if he is sentenced to jail, which it's looking like he probably will be because the political establishment will stop at nothing to usurp the Constitution and a means of political uh, gain. This has been going on in our country for a very long time against the poor. And now it is being utilized as a means for whatever they want it to be. Lady Liberty is no longer blindfolded, but she is peeking. Justice in this country has died. And I hate to say this, folks, but what better time to strike the United States or Europe than when America is involved in its social and economic collapse? America's holding on by a thread right now. We've had over 500 days now where we've been sitting in this lull at the bottom of this peak since, you know, COVID. And the economy bounced back, but then now has fallen into a point where it's staying at now, okay? And the last time this happened at this long of a duration was in 1929, Okay, during the Great Depression. So America is financially gutted right now. Corporations like McDonald's and others are showing financial strain because people cannot afford to even buy a value meal anymore at fast food restaurants. This is proving that the economy is literally being suffocated right now. The way to find out if a country is economically strong is the amount of spending that is occurring. Americans are not spending much because they have too many bills to pay. America is going broke. And I hate to say this, folks. As this happens and as these people are perpetuating these evil atrocities against us, I believe that in due time, within the coming weeks, that there will be a civil war inside of the United States of America followed by World War III. I believe that our enemies know we are weak, and I, I believe that they, like a, a pack of dogs, you know, vying for power over the Alpha, are nipping at our heels right now, waiting patiently until the time is right to take the throne. This is a war between the World Economic Forum, the WEF, and the BRICS nations, the B-R-I-C-S, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. The BRICS nations, okay, and the World Economic Forum are now two globalist New World Order-based regimes fine for complete 
and absolute financial power over the world. And I believe that now that the patri- or the petrodollar has been threatened and other things are happening as well across the world on a grand stage with innocent people dying in Ukraine, what's going on in Gaza, and now it's about to happen in Lebanon here next week, around June 15th, around that weekend. I believe that we are going to see within the next month and a half to two months complete and utter chaos. All I can say, folks, is to prepare yourselves. Taiwan is now putting mines out in its northern part of its country in the water to try to stop a sea-based invasion, land invasion of Taiwan from China. Chinese fighter jets broke into Japanese airspace as well and penetrated, I should say, their airspace. You have Russia and Belarus and their tactical nukes on high alert right now. You have all of these things going on, including our former president being indicted on 34 counts, felony charges, and possibly can do jail time. All while our sitting president is in an impeachment proceeding, and his son, both of his sons, James and Hunter now, are also um, being indicted on criminal charges. Never before in the history of this country have we seen anything like this. And what else I find funny about what's happening right now is you have all these people, and I don't see, you know, um, political signs in yards like I usually do. I'll see one or two here or there, but it's not like it was before. And I think it's because the morale in this country is so low that people just don't care. They know what's going on. And I think that if Trump is indicted, I don't think that it's going to go the way that these globalist elitists had planned it to be, where they're just going to keep power and everybody just shuts up and does what they're told. I think there's going to be an uprising, folks. And I believe that it's going to start with a secession in Texas. I believe they'll secede from the union. And I believe there will be other states as well that will follow suit. And when all this division is happening in the country, and our country is beginning to break down morally, economically, socially, spiritually, who's going to want to fight a war to protect what this country has become? Who's going to be proud to go out and fight and actually save America? Well, not America, but this new authoritarian police state. What is going to happen in that time frame when China and Russia are going to rally their people in pride? We are at a very dangerous turning point in history, folks. Remember how Rome fell. Rome fell because of the bubonic plague that ushered in a swarm of migrants that overwhelmed Rome's economy and Rome collapsed. Sound familiar? A virus that enters, that came into existence in 2019, spread throughout the world, and now our borders wide open to the point where it's gotten so bad that even Biden himself is now saying, I need to close the border. It is getting ugly, folks. And I hate to say that when, you know, the stuff hits the fan. I hope that you're comfortable with paying $80 for a loaf of bread, $200 for a gallon of gasoline, and $100 for a gallon of milk, because that's what's coming, just like the Deutschmark. During the collapse of Germany after World War I, the Deutschmark was collapsing so quickly that when people got paid, They would hurry to the store as fast as they could because they knew that every minute counted because that's how fast the Deutsche Mark was collapsing. They were bringing wheelbarrows of change, getting paid with wheelbarrows of change before 
the Nazi regime took over and made Germany financially strong again with the help of the West. Like IBM, IG Pharma, the Catholic Church, etc. Folks, I'm telling you right now, history is doomed to repeat itself if people don't understand or know their history. History is, in my opinion, the most important subject in school and in life. Also, bad things happen and continue to happen when good people stand around and do nothing. Folks, all these people that usurp the Constitution for their own power, political game, their own emotional bias, because this is how they feel and this is what they believe is happening or has happened, are about to have blood on their hands. All the stuff that is about to happen is their fault. They did this. They destroyed our, our country's pride. They destroyed our nation. They bankrupted us and hurt us and constantly made us all feel like buffoons for trying to stand up for our First Amendment rights to feed them of freedom of speech and protest, the freedom of expression. When social media platforms begin to censor and silence people for speaking their mind, when a lot of the things that we spoke about is now starting to be revealed in congressional hearings. You see, we are on a very dangerous path. And we had a chance back in 2012 during the Occupy movement to stop this. But unfortunately, I believe at this point in time, the country is too divided and too focused on self to really actually do anything about it unless it is actually forced into a, and into it. People have a lot of hope and a lot of promise in Donald Trump. If they feel like they can't vote for him now and it was stolen from him again, you better believe that things are going to happen. I hear him talk from people around me, people I know. I know that people are not happy about what just happened. And I know people are saying enough is enough. If he is incarcerated, if he is jailed and he is not able to run for the presidency, prepare yourself, folks. Because I believe that we are on a very dangerous path. I pray for our nation. I pray for our troops. I pray for our law enforcement officers who are constitutional oath keepers and actually understand, know the Constitution, and uphold and protect it. For those true patriots out there that really do understand the severity of the moment, who understand what that flag represents, who understand all the men and women who fought and died protecting the very freedoms in which we are now taking for granted. God bless you. All right, folks. Well, just wanted to uh, update you all on that and should have some more news coming up soon. I'm trying to get back to where I can do my Outer World news with all my clips and links and everything at the bottom. Um, also, lastly, pay attention to the sun this week as it is now beginning to turn the sunspot that has unleashed X-Class flares on us back into our direction. And also pay attention for possible hacking going on as AT&T and others have just now also had more outages yet again. Also, um, U.S. conducted a bombing drill above Korean Peninsula uh, where they actually drop, dropped bombs. So uh, that's also going on, folks. That was on Fox News. So just pay attention, folks. A lot of stuff going on right now. And uh, just wanted to say that. But anyways, God bless you all. I love you, and I'll see you all in the next one.